content preferences. There we go. Shadow World hit different. Like and retweet if you agree. All right. Last we left off, we were uh, playing the video game. And we maxed out a lot of social links. We got the Dojima. We got the Risei. Who else did we max out? We can't max out Fox, unfortunately. And there's a few others. The only one I really want to max out... Well, I'm, I wish I could max out Fox, but I think the only one I, like, really want to max out now is Nanako. So this, this one is also very... I, I looked up how to do this one because this is very strange. And you kind of have to do something specific. Basically, it's only on... At night, on snowy days. And then it's the day after you... I don't know. It's something really weird, and I don't think I can actually do it. <laughs> and then quest... 60 can't remember was was it Daidata? like we have to talk to him or something uh, I don't know it might have been like in a specific range of dates And those are basically the same quest. So. Hmm. What can we do today? It's Thursday. trying to think if there's anything specific. Can 
Can I go to Yasagami? I can. Okay. I could spend time with I. Ugh. Yeah, let's spend time with I, I guess. It's like the only person we can spend time with. Oh. You. What do you want? Yeah. Sure. I don't have anything better to do. Looks almost happy. Going to become closer soon. Nice. You're back. So you're home. You can work as a tutor today. Janitor at the hospital. Damn it, Nanako's not. Mm. You received a text message. It's from Teddy. Sensei, movies, movies, movies. <laughs> There's a new one out I want to see. It's called Orso Rozo. What? Oh, yeah, I got to see this. If you ever want to see it, tell me and I'll go with you. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess I may as well also go work as a tutor. That's another social link I have yet to do. I wonder, is she out today? I guess not. Not on snowy days. Oh god, Jesus. Fucking scare the shit out of me, why don't you? Oh, hey, it's Ko. And Chie. And Reset. Holy shit, everyone's out tonight. And Ayane. Okay. Let's go tutoring. Won't deepen just yet. Yeah, sure. It's not like any of the other ones would deepen either. Your expression has increased. 10,000 yen. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. This is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Mar Mary. Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in the search for Mary. I have located her. However, she is in a realm not that of man. It will not be easy for you to set foot in that place. Please, allow me just a little more time so that I make may make preparations. As I have said before, when I am done, I shall come for you. Now, if you will excuse me. Mary's whereabouts have been identified. You now need to wait until Margaret comes for you. Damn. <clears throat> it really do just be like that. Oh, senpai. Uh, if you're free after school, I want us to hang out. So I'll be waiting for you. Maybe you should hang out with Risei after school. I don't know, maybe fucking geez. 
clingy, clingy. <laughs> Fucking jeez. Oh, fucking Kashiwagi. Oh, Cold Coon. I have another teeny favor to ask you. You found me those cute slippers last time, right? Apparently there's gloves that match them. I hear they're in a fluffy paw shape. Can you look for them for me? What will you do? <sighs> I'm glad to know you will. I'm counting on you then. Okay. Very, very cool. So, I wonder if it's the same guy that I have to go talk to and trade with. Where was he? There he is. Can't wait to become like my master. Alright, I guess not then. So, I guess this is the last stretch of time we have before... We have to go look for Mary. The entrance exam for my top pick college is coming up. I have to give it my all I've got. Uh, okay. Entrance exam season. Intraday thing. Also, sorry I woke up. Uh, I woke up a little bit uh, late today. I mean, not really. I woke up at a good time, a respectable hour. But uh, I decided to take a small nap. And I uh, didn't wake up <laughs> fast enough, so I was a little bit late to my own stream, basically. Lots happened, but I'll be saying goodbye to this class soon. I wish I could have gotten to know Yukiko-san and Chie better. Well, it's not like I'm graduating. There's always next year. Shut the fuck up. I want to talk to you. The fog hasn't uh, set in at all. I guess I'm a little relieved now. Now that I think about it, I wasn't the only one who was frightened by it. There were a lot of other people. Is that what they call mass hysteria? People are scary. Hmm, Valentine's Day? All right, it's that time of the year again. Well, whatever makes, uh, whatever happens, happens. Not like us guys can do anything about it. Well, I'm going home. See you, Common. All right. Hmm. The days pass, and I still have nothing to show for it. Will we change classes before I get a chance to get to know her? There was some event coming up. I could use it to jumpstart a relationship, but there aren't any until next semester. Fuck are you? Made up with my senpai, apologized to her, and then she get, forgave me. Uh, I couldn't tell her how much I liked her, but that's okay. I'm gonna be happy with that. Her to be happy with that guy. That's what would make me happy. You know what they say. Find something you love, then let it kill you. <laughs> Once spring comes, uh, I think I'm going to petition for a mountain climbing club again. I think the school was just being extra cautious last year because of that whole murder thing. 
Uh, now that that's been solved, there shouldn't be any problems. Talk with all the new students that might want to join. Found my calling in life. Do you have any hints? Kind of offbeat, wouldn't you say? To a kind of suspicious store to find them. Suspicious store. What, like the Shiroku pub? It's not suspicious. I think. <laughs> I think. She won't have them during the daytime. But... I also just kind of want to see what she has. Ooh, these are on sale today. Well, I mean, everything's on sale, but... Buy five to. Actually, I think it was probably more like eight hundred dollars worth of shit. Suspicious store. Suspicious store. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to think. What the fuck does that mean? Probably not Croco Fur, right? A new arrival. The famous detective costume is now in stock. Oh, hey. Is it... For whomst? Oh, I can use this. Oh, it's just for now, Naoto? Alright. Worth it. Alright. What is this? Oh, we already got it? Okay. Good amount of books. Juness, the suspicious store. Oh, I just had a thought. What if it's in the shadow world? Or in the TV. With the fucking... Like, uh... Saki Konishi area. Hmm. I don't want to waste time, so I'm actually going to see if that's... I'm going to look it up. For 
quests. This is quest, what, 67? Yeah. A Mondo Stone. Yeah, okay, so a Chiroku pub. Oh, God damn it. Motherfucker. <clears throat> Becomes available on January 10th. We need the Inaba Jewel Beetle. How do you get the Inaba Jewel Beetle? Motherfucker. You must unlock the Shichiri Beach by riding your scooter the long way three times. <coughs> Try to catch fish in Shichiri Beach. Wow, okay. That's a lot of different shit that you need to do. Okay, so I do have something I can do today. In fact, it's the last time I think I need to ride my scooter. For this specifically. All right, let's go to the Joe Jumbo residence. Take a long ride. You were able to make it to the beach. Your courage has increased. You can now travel to Shichiri Beach. Swim. Fish. Return to Inaba. Nice. Okay. So now we can go to Samegawa. Hey, old man, how goes the fishing? You ask about a rod that can use for sea fishing. Uh, sea fishing, rod, you say? I'm glad you asked. 
Who knew you'd show that much interest in fishing? It was worth letting you have that rod, I'd say. Right here, so why don't we... But there's one condition. Take skill, so I want to make sure you're up to it. Try catching the guardian of this river. Fuck. <laughs> so how do I get the, the beetles? You should now be able to ask him about how to catch the guardian and the bait used. Okay. Show him the guardian. I don't have the guardian. Bait for the guardian. That's a great question. It's a slick, shiny bug that's only the only bait it'll take. Just wish I could recall the name. Well, the guardian of the Samagawa is a big fish, all right. Time was when someone caught the when someone caught the guardian, we'd offer it up to the shrine and then share it between everyone. Important source of food for the town. Called the guardian. Um, first time I caught the guardian of the Samagawa was when I was about your age. I caught it then, and I know you can too. But I don't have any Inaba Jewel Beetles. Motherfucker! This was a mistake. to get the uh... I guess I'm locked out Oh, wait, you can catch bugs at the Dojima residence? What? During the winter season, the protagonist won't be able to catch bugs at the shrine. Instead, the protagonist can catch bugs outside the Dojima residence, where the protagonist would usually be able to use the garden. Yo! All right. Is it only at night? I guess. Protagonist can catch bugs outside the Dojima residence. Usually be able to use the garden. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to assume it's just something I have to do at night. Okay. If that's the case, then... Um... available to go on the scooter. Yukiko. Okay. Let's check our fusion forecast. Unshaken will added of the moon arcana. Alright, what the fuck is unshaken will? <laughs> Unshaken will. Uh, unshaken will automatically prevents the user from being inflicted with any mental type ailments. So rage, fear, silence, enervation, and confusion. Huh. In Japanese, Fudo Kokoro. Alright, that sounds pretty good actually. I'm a fan. So of the moon arcana? We could probably make some pretty good moons. Somewhere. Somehow. Let's, uh... See here. Wow, we already have a lot of the compendium filled out. Star. The moon. I mean, I kind of do want to make a, a better Seth, because that Seth is kind of ass. Ass! Where is the moon? There it is. Yeah, let's make a better Seth. Let's get rid of Alilat to make it, too, because Alilat, I don't really care for it. All right, so what does it have? It has, um, Garu. Repels ice, weak to lightning. Okay. Growth to an auto makaru or maraku, rather. Do it, nose. Much 
My name is Seth. Together we shall walk this long and arduous road. Spra. Nice. As a result of the fusion forecast, Seth has learned unshaken will. Emerged from the sea of your soul. Poggers. Uh, let's register that. Alright. Now let's go spend time with some, some Yukiko. Oh, Common Coon. I came to fill up on gas. Uh, I was here on in business. Thought I could use my scooter. Don't need it for anything doing today, though. Let's go to a hot spring. <laughs> the hot springs? Just the two of us? That's fine. It's been a while since I went to the hot spring. Uh, whatever. Just keep in mind that we'll be in separate beds. Ooh, be careful on the fucking slippery road. Hot Springs came here with Yukiko. Hear a voice from the women's section of the Hot Springs. Um, common? Oh, great. We can talk. I was the only one on this side, so it was getting a little lonely. <laughs> I feel so open and free here. This is good to go out uh, to other onsen every once in a while. In-depth conversation. What will you talk about? I don't think this actually matters. Talk about memories. <laughs> what a great conversation topic. Oh, it does matter. Okay. Fuck is Amrita again? Cures all ailments except down and KO. Fully restores party's HP, cures ailments. Okay, yeah. I should have talked about the future, but that's not a bad thing to do. You're back. God damn it, Nanako. You need to be available so that I can fucking speak with you. Covered in snow. So, is it only on not snowy days? Yes, okay, there we go. See if you can find any bugs. In a bejeweled beetle! In a bejeweled beetle! We got two. Dude, this is Poggers champion moment. Alright, now we go to the riverbank. Let's go.
That's a huge fish. Yes. It'll be some good practice, even if we don't get it on this one. That's a huge fish. All right. Um, I guess we could just go for more huge fish since those are nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go oh, fishing. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed. Fish wriggled off your hook and escaped into the water. Fuck. I was trying to crack open a cold one while I was fishing. Eat a butt trout. Oh, fuck. I was mashing A too much. And I bought trout. Nice. You caught a huge fish. That is a huge fish. So unfortunately, like, everything right now rests on that huge fish. Or on the, the Guardian. Oh, is the Death Arcana going to be around? It's the weekend, I think. No, she's not here. I guess it's only Sundays. Um, what about... Daycare center, yes. You helped out today at the daycare center. I don't want to play house. Play hide and seek. You're it. Utah is full of energy. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. Your understanding has increased. Common Coon. 
Most of the children have been picked up, so you can go home now. I'll see you next time. You finished your job and went home. You earned 10,000 yen from your thing. Your stuff. On the way home on the Samegawa floodplain, you see Yuta's mother, uh, sitting over there. Oh, hello. You're, you're the caretaker I met the other day, right? Oh, it's already this late? I've been sitting here all this time. Something on your mind? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> you're a high school student, right? You seem so mature. Uh, I was heading over there. I was going to pick up Yuta. Then something came over me. My legs just went weak all of a sudden. Every time I think about him, Yuta's mother sighs. Have you heard? Uh, aren't related by blood. He's my husband's child. I've lived with Yuta for six months now. Only six months. Already six months. We don't ever talk to each other. My husband is away, so... <laughs> it's just the two of us, alone together in a dark house. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell you all about this out of the blue. But I'm glad that you listened to me, that you spoke with me. It's sad. These days, I don't even have simple conversations like this. Smiling weakly. Feel a faint bond between... Okay. Temperance? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Temperance Arcana. Yeah, alright. Young Mother. I'm Ari Manami. Ari Manami. Uh, I still need to pick him up. Oh my god. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> you decided to help Nanako study with Dojima again today. Um, today I'm studying for my life class. I'm supposed to help out at home. Uh. Life class. Oh, you mean life environment studies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Uh, once I'm done with this, my teacher said I don't need to study on weekends anymore. What can I help out with? Well, you washed the dishes earlier, so you've helped out already. Mm. Oh, okay. And that's what I'll write about. Anika is doing her best to write down her thoughts. When I wash dishes, they get cleaned. It makes dinner taste good. When dinner tastes good, everyone smiles, so I like washing dishes. Uh... I didn't know that's how she saw things. Yeah, that's very interesting. Sound like a doting father, or at least a doting brother. All done. Thank you. Thanks, Dad, big bro. Closer to Dojima and Nanako. Dojumbo. What should you do today? See the text message from Yosuke. Ski trip next week, the 11th. Two days, one night, all fun. Got us room, we can rent boards and clothes there. To ace our tests and enjoy the last big event of the winter. Late. 
Uh, you are now scheduled to go on a ski trip with everyone for two days, starting February 11th. Ah, uh, that's very good timing. Sonidori wear. And slimming food. Homunculus and chest keys. Well. I'll take the, that one. Always. Oh, can I do it twice today? In a bejeweled beetle. Just one? Fuck. All right. Uh, let's go see who's available. Naoto. Happy to see you. Yes. Yes. I'd be happy to. Isano smiles gently. But still, the more I look at you, the more you remind me of him. His nose was just a little lower than yours, and his eyes a bit smaller, and his hair was shorter. <laughs> he was a handsome man. Who are you talking about? <laughs> My husband. He was a kind man. Quite an attractive one, too. Isano smiles nostalgically. My husband passed away recently. Listen, dear. Do I look like death to you? I wouldn't say so. I see. You mustn't become death. You feel you brushed against a heavy weight that Hisano was bearing. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> when I'm with you, I feel like he has forgiven me. That can't possibly be true, though. After all, I'm the one who... <laughs> I'll see you later, Common. Goodbye. Did she fucking kill her husband? You're back. Based. Oh, yes, we can do it twice today. Poggers. A stag beetle? Genji beetle. I found a few stag beetles, apparently. All right. Back to go fishing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Big money, no whammies. Unlucky. I guess we'll just keep fishing. No reason not to. No huge fish. All right, fuck it. We don't need one more Inaba trout. Your year-end exams begin today and continue until the weekend. You should hurry to school. All right. Let's see if I remember these. It's been a few months. My best. Oh. Good morning, Common. The advancement exams start today. Did you remember to study for them? Chie seemed anxious, but me, I'm kind of relieved. I miss things like exams and schoolwork. This is just another sign of normal life, slowly coming back. <laughs> I'm with you there. Mm. Everyone's been their old selves around town and school, too. Ski trip this weekend might be our last special outing. Let's ace those exams so we can focus on having fun on the trip. All right. The word alphabet comes from the words alpha and what other? Be beta. Bet. Bet. Uh, what was the theory that the pyramids were... How was the theory that the pyramids were built by slaves disproven? Um... It was attendance logs, I believe. God fucking damn it. I'm upset with myself. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to look it up from the internet. This is this is open notes. All right, this is open notes. Let me go look at my notes, quote unquote. Archive. Jesus Christ, this drive is so big and so full. It takes like a solid 40 seconds to load up.
it's already it's an eight terabyte hard disk drive and it's already like halfway full. I got this October of last year. Jesus Christ. All right, Persona 4 Golden Heart 5 this. Yes, man. Four. There. Thing. Other. Easier to boot. Yeah. Boot. D. And. Like the three of us and one animal thingy. We don't talk about it. He's he's not. Okay, it's not there. Damn it, where was it? Part four? Become was becoming popular, causing the price of tulip bulbs to rise. It was the world's first economic bubble. Bulbs imported to Holland became is in Holland. The result. Hey, Mr. Hannibal. Open notes. It's not cheating. Maybe. <laughs> Overcompensation. Fuck. Fuck. It's attendance logs. It's attendance logs. It has to be. What drink name means berry demons? Fuck. God damn it. Morale is identity. Declaration.
bonus pay. Shortest war. Anchor. Turnips. Kaku. Motherfucker. It's Toso. I was going to say Toshi, but I didn't. I wasn't sure. Medical term for a brain freeze, this one. What is the Japanese zodiac equivalent to the cat in the Thai and Vietnamese zodiacs? It's the bunny. Or the rabbit. That one I just remember because Kashiwagi is fucking weird. What vegetable was used to make the first jack o' lanterns? Turnips. God, I need to shave. I'm starting to feel like the hairs in my face against my microphone. Uh, what color were the pyramids when they were first built? White. Shiro. Uh, what gets mixed in snow with Europe that causes it to turn red? The Saharan Desert Sand. Human blood! I mean, that would also make it turn red. Yes, yes. Bypass. Senpai. Morning, Senpai. Today's the last day of exams. <sighs> this week has been so stressful. But well, the ski trip's tomorrow. I can't wait to stay the night with everyone. Say, how are you at skiing? I haven't done it in a while, so I'm worried I might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. You will? Hooray. Uh, it'll always be two days and one night, so there will be plenty of skiing. I'll take you up on that offer. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you think I'm being serious? Answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Decided to go straight home since you have a ski trip tomorrow. Understandable. You're back. So you're home. Oh yeah, package came for you. It's over on the table over there. Sony D Sony Dori wear. Nice. God damn it, Nanako. Motherfucker. It's gonna be like, oh, you should sleep, idiot. Isn't it? It's gonna say it. Yes! Eat a jewel beetle. We got one. Dude, I really should have been stockpiling these earlier. Ah! Today is the day of your ski trip with your friends. It will be your last big memory of winter in Inaba. You endeavor to have as much fun as possible. Only fun. Woo! Anime. <laughs> yeah! Yusuke, you're pretty good! Dude, you too! Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta open
open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. It's it's easier said than huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> you owe me a date. You won't win. Oh god. Is Teddy gonna fucking die? He's gonna get fucking skewered. Why is he wearing his thing? Ski down the slopes a number of times, enjoying the time with your friends. Whew. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. You were doing it on purpose, you bastard! <laughs> you guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Naoto-kun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but... It's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction, or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. Careful there, Teddy. You might get copyright infringement. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So it's a non-style style? Yeah. <laughs> what is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. Lol. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. You gotta do the cooking by the book. Then you'll have a treat. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now! What is it, food? Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! Ah, oh, that's what it is. I was like, what the fuck is soul? How much of a carnivore are you? Yeah, bears eat fish. It's real meat, alright? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Chicken! She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Hey, fish is brain food, alright? You need to flex that brain muscle of yours, Kanji. Neat. <laughs> Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey, after all. Well, most meat is pretty gamey if it's game. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan! And this is the most dangerous game of all. Hmm. 
Bear Man. Man Bear Pig. You finish skiing for today and decide to return to the lodge. Man is the most dangerous game, human. Minion. Fuck. Everyone gathered in the lounge. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? Probably. You should maybe check up on him. See that he doesn't get arrested. We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Oh my god. Sheesh, what's he up to now? Yeah, no, he's definitely going to get arrested. You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? No thanks. I don't want to be... <laughs> An accessory to a crime. What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... Shut. No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? <laughs> Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. That sounds dangerous. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Brilliant. Why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? And what would that be, Kanji? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Oh yeah, it is in uh, the good old Japan. Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! <laughs> Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Hey. Did you put us in the fucking room with the, where the announcer died? <laughs> Yukiko. Please. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes, when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Obon? O Obon? Uh... Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. Haniwa? They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. <laughs> Damn, Yukiko. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oof. Um, I mean... In all truthfulness, I actually love scary stories. Spooky stories. I actually follow a channel on YouTube. Uh, or at least I started following them recently. Uh, what is it? It's... Koabana? So it's just like a podcast type channel. That's just all about... Like scary stories. Primarily Japanese based. Hosted by Tara A. Devlin. Uh, I don't fucking... I, I already have maxed out bullshit with all these people. I love them. Oh, so... You got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! You don't have to shout. Jesus Christ. Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! <laughs> Moranji. Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. 
Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. Oh boy. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Oh no. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. Fucked up. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30... 11.30? Suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything, and soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered, but when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said the <laughs> girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Vengeful spirits. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Th that's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? Um. Oh, boy. I actually... Let's let's pick this one. You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. <laughs> of course. Tell them a story you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Um... Fuck it. Ooh, one time at the inn there was this. Zip it! <laughs> what was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. If everyone heard it, I don't think it's your imagination. Just go anyway, check it out. Keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Hanako and Kashiwagi monsters. Fuck it. Huh? Wait, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, uh, blackout! Oh shit! Something just went past me. I told you I didn't want to do this. Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on. I can't take this anymore. Hurry. Spooky. Hang on. Where's the switch?
<laughs> How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Probably best I don't tell the rest of the story. The night goes on. The second day of the ski trip, you decide to spend your time on the slopes until the sun sets. All right, time to hit the snow. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you considering how loud you were. I told you over and over the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I Damn. think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Ted, we didn't talk about anything like that. Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? <laughs> You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai. Hold it right there. Uh, Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. <laughs> wow, calling him out like that. that. So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, senpai. Let's go. Her logic is 100% ironclad. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Yeah. Why are you impressed? Fake it till you make it. <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. See, that's real logic and reasoning. Oh, crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai, too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Yosuke, we've been over this. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Shut it, bear boy. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Oh, God. Seeing everyone staring at you so hopefully hurts. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no prob. You've got a partner who understands your needs. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy the slopes. You plan to make today a fun day as well.
everyone is enjoying the slopes. Kanji is helping now to practice. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. That's not how that works, I don't think. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. You already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. <laughs> well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Holy shit. They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Those two are looking good. Yeah. Seem to know They're their so stuff. jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Yeah. Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Listen, Naoto, you gotta make the pizza to slow down. You make the Dorito for the for speeding up, I think. I watch Psych. I know this. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? <laughs> huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> Catch you all if I have to. Oh, you getting so fired up about? I don't really see why you're so intense about this. If you're gonna catch me, then I'm gonna jump right into your arms. Jesus Christ. Um, I can trust you then. Well, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. I feel I, I want to make a joke here about eh whatever. I can't think of anything. Oh wait, how did he already get all the way back up? Now he's not even wearing skis. Dude, he's a missile. <laughs> I think I'm going to walk. Those were Middle Eastern children he just crashed into. Time passes as you have fun on the slopes. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? Chie, Yukiko, Rise, Naoto, or the guys? I feel like if I ask Naoto, that's just going to be... Like... How do you call it? <laughs> it's going to be a very slow and... Uh... More of a teaching experience. We've already spent a lot of time with Risei. I feel like Chie might just blast right past me. Well, no. I feel like Yusi Yukiko. <laughs> I feel like Yukiko might blast right past me. Chie. Maybe a little more.
Mm. God, I should have saved before this. <laughs> You decided to ask Yosuke, Kanji, and Teddy to ski with you. You and the boys enjoyed your time together on the mountain. Bros before hoes. That's interesting technique. Considering that we've been hitting these slopes for two days straight, I think I've gotten a lot better. Nice. Of course, just when I get the hang of things is the moment we have to leave. Happens every time. What should I do? I'm going to be headhunted by the pros. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Dude, there are no competitions where you slide downhill on your stomach. Yeah. Snow is weird. I've never seen it before. How does this stuff get in the sky in the first place? Condensation. It's the same as rain, but when it's too cold, it just freezes and falls to snow. Oh, yeah. Well, it evaporates, and then it condensates. It clouds. And then, you know, when it hits areas where it can condensate into something more solid, it falls as condensed water droplets. And if it's cold enough, it turns into snow. Wouldn't that make it like little lumpy ice balls that bonk you on the head and stuff? Ouch. That also happens. It's called hail. Why are you being so nitpicky? It's kind of mysterious, though. How these little white water flowers just tumble delicately from the sky. When you look up, you usually don't notice it, but I can understand how deep the sky is. I feel like I'm falling in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I always had a feeling you were one of those warrior poet types, but I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Kanji's got the heart of a dreamy little girl. Yeah, and what's wrong with that? <laughs> Shut the hell up. You started this stupid conversation in the first place. I just asked where snow comes from. Fucking. I didn't start writing berry tales about white flowers and falling into the sky and stuff. Can we shank Teddy? What the fuck do you call the things that you with the uh, you ski with the fucking you like stab it into the fucking ground to push yourself forward or to you know do shit? What do you call those? Just fucking shank Teddy with it. You you picking a fight with me, Ted? It's gonna get dark soon. It's starting to snow too, so we should be getting back. I think today's dinner had some actual meat. If we get there too late, that carnivore is going to get it all. Considering how active we've been today, it'll really suck if we don't get some dinner tonight. That's facts. So, which way do we go to get back to the lodge? Oh, no. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, no. I wasn't expecting it to start snowing this much, and I thought we'd be able to see it from up here. Is it like to start one of them fucking horror stories? How about you, senpai? You remember the way? Oh no. Uh Uh I should be right. Dude, are you sure? This might be a ski area, but one wrong turn and we'll end up in the mountains. I'm not sure at all. <laughs> Fuck. At least if worse comes to worse, I can just go into high bear nation. I read about that in a book. But you're not a real bear. Don't even think about it. You'll wake up in the afterlife. <laughs> in any case, let's get going. We can't dally around with the snow in this much. Yeah, it'll only get worse by the minute. You're right. All right, then. Let's go. Since 1839. You went the wrong way and you died. The snow is rapidly decreasing any visibility. You decide to somehow make your way to the lodge.
You've walked quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. Are you guys okay? You guys are all still here, right? Uh... You two, me, and... Hey, where, where's Teddy? I'm here. And no jokes like that. That snowman's talking right now, please. <laughs> this isn't good. We're com completely lost. And it's so cold that I'm gonna die. Don't give up so easy. Show some guts, damn it. I remember reading that the people who give up first are the ones who end up dying. Actually, Sensei, I think my batteries are about to wear out. Don't fall asleep. God fucking damn it. He just said not to fall asleep. Quit screwing around! You'll die! F -f -f for real! Hey, doesn't that look like a cottage? Great, and now he's hallucinating. You start dreaming on your feet, and pretty soon you're t dead. I'm not dreaming, asshole! Open your freaking eyes and look! Oh, yeah. Oh, that is indeed a snowy mountain cottage! I thought you were asleep. When night falls, the phone line gets cut, and one by one the inhabitants die by the fireplace poker. You know, I said it was like one of them horror stories, but that's, yeah, that's basically exactly that it. be the least of our worries. Look, we can't stay out in the snow like this. Let's get over there, qu quick. Freels. Hopefully there's some firewood left. Excuse me! There's no answer from inside. Wait, huh? <laughs> wow, okay. Talk about creepy with a capital C, Jesus. I can't see anything. Oh, there's a lamp. I wonder if it still has oil. I wonder why it was open. I don't know, but it's better than freezing to death. Let's just consider ourselves lucky, okay? Anybody know the Lodge's phone number? We can call them up and have them send some rescue services or something. Seriously? Don't tell me. No one knows what it is? You're the one who organized this whole thing. I don't have my phone with me. Me neither. Really? Come on, man. That's why cell phones were invented. You're supposed to keep it around. And what about you, Yosuke? Who the hell would I call? We're all hanging around together. If you told me we were going to get lost, I'd have remembered to bring it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm all naked in here. You should have told me that this was going to happen. Wait. What? How was I supposed to know? If I'd known this was going to happen, then we wouldn't have gotten lost. Fine. I'll give Chie a call. Phone dead. Come on, Yosuke, quit stalling. Hurry up and call Chie chan No service. The battery's dead. Called it. After all the shit you gave us for being unprepared, now this! That's an old phone, so it runs out fast. I can't afford a new one because I was saving up for a motorcycle. You mean a scooter. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. Sucks to suck. Come on, partner. You're our only hope. Senpai! You're our hero, right? You always save us, Sensei. I've always believed in you. wonder what's in the gas cans. The jerry cans. Staring at you with such great hope in their eyes. Screen reads, no service. Seems there is no signal here. Well, that's it then. It's hopeless. I'm so freezing. Even under that suit? We don't know when this blizzard's going to stop either. We're screwed if we have to spend the night here. Oh well, there's a hearth over there. Let's start a fire in that. Yeah. But how are we going to do that? 
I don't have a lighter or anything. Let's look around. If there's a hearth here, there's gotta be stuff to use in it. Yeah. Find old newspapers and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the hearth. Man, it looks like we're gonna survive this. Yeah. If it takes too long, we can just eat Teddy. I wonder where we are. Even if we do get in touch with the others, are they gonna be able to find us? In fact, why don't we do it now? I bet we'll freeze here. Come tomorrow morning, we'll just be lumps of ice. Seriously doubt it. Don't give up. Sensei, your courage is awe-inspiring. I will actually I feel a fucking rip just your head off. In the glow of your awesomeness. But man, this little fire is too small to warm up the four of us. Let's light a fire on part of the floor then. No, that's this a bad idea. Place is made of wood. That's called arson. We'll end up all burning to death instead of freezing to death. Jeez, all you do is complain. I don't see you offering any ideas. The fucking huddle up. If we can't start a fire, all we can do is wear more stuff. Is there a sleeping bag or something around here? Oh yeah, like a big, thick, fuzzy bag is gonna be just sitting here. <laughs> what? Maybe it might fit four. Don't you remember? He said he was... But I'm like a newborn baby here. If the three of you come in, my innocence will be destroyed. Will you not get off with that crap? What the that fuck? That thing turned on just now, right? It wasn't just me. Uh, let's check it out. Right. But why? I'm coming too, senpai. Me three. This smells really fishy. What was that, like a radio? Hey, wait up! I mean, this place is really small. Whoa, dude, stop it! What the hell are you doing? Quit fooling around! But we have to find out, right, senpai? No! S sensei stop it! You'll fall in! Fall into what? The fuck? They're still dressed. What are you doing here? Wait, what about our clothes? Why wouldn't they be dressed? Uh, do I really have to spell it out? Did you girls come to rescue us? I can't believe you came so far into the mountains after me. What are you talking about? This little hut is right behind the lodge we're staying in. Oh. It seems it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. Anyway, what were the four of you doing shoving each other around in here? Uh, we were checking the TV. Why? What's the matter with it? It suddenly came on for no reason. Oh. Is this one of those male bonding things or something? Not quite. Do you want us to come back later? Give you some time? <laughs> what? No! No! You're completely misunderstanding! The girl's stares are painful. You desperately explained what happened just now. Okay, so you got lost, stumbled onto this convenient cottage, and needed to warm each other up. No! Damn it! Why aren't you listening? The TV just turned itself on. It makes no sense. The case has been over for months. So? Maybe the wiring's bad or something, or you saw some light reflected in it. This misunderstanding is unbearable. I feel so unclean. My reputation has been sullied. What reputation? From the looks of it, this TV isn't even plugged in. If what you are all saying is true, then we may want to investigate this. That's what we've been saying from the start. 
this TV, huh? Then let's take a closer look, shall we? It, hey, wait a sec. Uh -huh. So I did choose the right... Oh my god. That's Margaret. Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa, she's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Everyone, this is Margaret. <laughs> who is she? You know her? A friend of sorts. F friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. You mean about Marie? Mary? Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. You did ask to be taken to where Marie is. Mary is. Is she here? This is the Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Why? I do not know everything. But, as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. Really? It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? The very same. I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried about Marie. What should you do? I feel we all may be able to cooperate better if I explain fully to the, the group. You explained that Marie had lost her memory and that she is currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? Emmy. We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. Well, it's not it's not the same situation. I do not think this is the same situation. Exactly. 
I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone, rather she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here? Does that mean Marie-san has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. Ah. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hey, I was led to believe she was trustworthy. Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... I mean, Marie might not actually be in danger. Considering she's a resident of this side, it may be the same with Teddy. Where... What are you talking about, you fool? It means Marie-chan's in danger! That's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Is that why you brought my friends? The path ahead will be relentless. You <clears throat> alone will not be able to reach her. All right. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but... You are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Yeah. Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers. As I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. What's up? As I just said... The Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. What? We'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I need to know more. What do you mean? It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. And Fuck. No! This doesn't make sense! Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Ah, uh, makes things difficult. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. 
It is a fact. Hmm. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? Guess that's our way back. It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Yeah. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Hmm? Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. True. We do have time. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! <laughs> uh, who, uh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us, and it's a tiny frickin' TV. You could go one at a time. Oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? Can I push it in like a fucking soft spot and just fucking kill you? Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. I guess this is our new secret headquarters. We do? What are we going to talk about? Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Hey, she has good ideas. Sometimes. Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. Yeah, it's a little vague. I couldn't even tell. Sorry for keeping secrets. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I think it's exactly to risk her life. I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? <clears throat> It must have to do something with her memories. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. So, If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Yes. And? Isn't that the same as dying? Yeah, you could say that. What? Wait, you mean sh she's trying to... I, I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. Yeah. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? 
<clears throat> Listen. I need your guys' help. Senpai, you're right. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. Mm -hmm. That's that then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. Yeah. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah. <coughs> it's a little nice. Yeah! All right! It's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan! Uh, mm, Teddy? I don't know, maybe you should think about what you say before you say it. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Didn't need to hear that. Ew! <laughs> he bounced right back up. <laughs> Dude, that reminds me of those fucking dolls. What, what are the dolls that have like the sand in the bottom? The, the, like the big, like the, the blow up, like pill things. Oh, I don't know what they're called. They're like punching bags, but they're for kids. Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. Arguable. How rude. What do you mean, at least? Let's regroup at school. Okay? Your friends are thinking back to the way things used to be. According to Margaret, there isn't much time before that place closes. You must find Marie quickly, or you will never be able to see her again. You are concerned about Marie, but first, you should get a grasp of the situation at hand. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. I mean, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Today, you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. Ugh, it's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. Is school out right now? Oh, I guess it is. First, allow me to report. Yeah, what do you got now, Oto? Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. Hmm. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Well, that's good to know. Hey, no fair! What? You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but I went and checked the newspaper, too. And? I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. 
I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Hmm. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. Dude, news gets around fast with housewives. Gossip 24-7. And nurses, too. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get jack. Former punks? Guess even those people grow Considering up. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Risei-san found. How did your search go? Yeah. I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, hmm. it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The Hollow Forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? Yeah. I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? Uh. What the hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. Yeah. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Thanks, guys. Are you thinking that you're getting us involved in your personal problems? I mean... Kinda. Nobody's thinking that, buddy. That's right! I'm burning up! Arrgh! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Everyone's hearts have come together. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? God fucking damn it. What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Aw, oh, man. Fuck. You hurry to the mountain cabin to save Marie. We're here. We can get to the hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there then. A place is going to get closed off soon, right? Yeah, that Margaret person said it was definitely going to happen. I think we're still okay for today, but I can sense it getting further and further away. W wait, does that mean we have no idea what'll happen tomorrow? That is quite likely. It was a completely different place until very recently. Since there's no guarantee that we'll be able to enter it tomorrow, we must do something about it today. Right. It'll be a bit tough, but we've got to do this. Come on. Let's save Marie Chan today. Alright. I'm gonna take a quick BRB. I need to go use the restroom and stuff. Um... I will be right back. I'm going to leave the music going because this is fantastic music. Just overall, very nice. And when I get back, we're heading in. <laughs> 